Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make this custom health bar system so that uh, when you get damaged you, uh, the health bar changes instead of having the regular Roblox health bar and it tweens and it looks all nice so let's get right into it. So guys the first thing you're going to need is actual the actual health bar. Now I already have mine um, you know, pre-made so if you guys want to copy my design you surely can so um i just have the health bar screens ui i have a background frame as well as the bar the green bar so and here's my aspect ratio constraint make sure to have that and have all my stuff in it so if you want to look through all my settings um this is my background i'm just going to scroll through it real quick real quick so that's my background, this is my aspect ratio constraint, this is my UI corner, this is my UI stroke, this is my bar, and all of the properties. Alright, and this is my UI corner again. So, I want to keep something in mind guys, that the anchor point right here, that is very important. Make sure you get the anchor point, uh, because the anchor point is, it's very crucial on how this works. So make sure you get that anchor point, as well as make sure that your frames are scaled on in the both size and position. If you don't know how to do this, there is a plugin. Uh, if you type in UI scale plugin on the Roblox Marketplace for developers, you will find this plugin up here. You just want to select your frames, click up here to offset the scale, and it will be all good. But let's get right into the scripting. So in started UI, I'm going to insert a local script, and I'm going to call this health handler. And I'm going to insert, so put the health bar screen UI in the script. Alright, so we are going to get rid of hello world, and we're going to start out with some services. So, tween service, we're going to need tween service, get service, tween service. This isn't really a service, but uh, it's adding on to the tween service, I'm making a new tween info. Or actually, we don't need this. Uh... I'm actually doing a different way now, so we don't need those. Never mind, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're not going to be using tween service, because uh, instead of tween service, we're going to be sending the, the built-in function tween. Oh, this code assistant, I need to disable that, but it's kind of annoying. But um, what we actually need to get is variable. Sorry, guys, for changing stuff up. Um, I'm usually going off of tween service, but I actually, in the uh, health uh, custom thing, that I showed you guys how to use a different way. So I'm going to say local player. We're first getting the player. We're then getting the character. So player dot character. And we're going to get the humanoid. So character wait for child humanoid. Because humanoid is where all of the player states are. So like walk speed, uh, health, all that types of stuff. All right, and then we are going to get the components like health bar and the screen GUI. That is script, wait for child, health bar. And background, we're getting the background and the bar. So health bar, wait for child, background. And local bar is equal to background, wait for child, bar. All right, so now we have all the components that we need. We are then going to detect when the health is changed. So how we do this is by saying humanoid.health changed connect and this is a function and this gives us the damage that was taken to the player um, and that is a number all right now um, the last thing we need to do is say bar tween size udem 2new we're going to take damage divided by humanoid dot max health which is basically 100 but you can still say max health and we are going to say after that is comma zero comma one comma zero and then after this after this bracket we're going to say a comma and then we're going to put in all of our information so like enum by using direction i'm going to say out enum dot using style i'm going to set that to sign comma 0 0.1 and then true if you guys aren't familiar with tweens and what's going on here, these are basically the settings of how it is. So like easing direction, that's how it, or easing style is how it behaves. Easing direction is the direction of it. Um, the 0 0.1 is the time of the tween, and the true is if it overrides, um, will override any in-tween uh, progress. 
So now we have that going for us, and now we need to make the kill brick, or not, I'm not, I'm not going to set it as a kill brick, because I want to see the health changing, kind of, so I have this red brick, I'm, I'm going to put a script inside of it, and I'm then I'm going to say brick is equal to script off parent, I'm going to say debounce is equal to false brick, touched, connect function, get the hits, um, part local player is equal to game, um, dot players, get player from character, Hit dot parent. Um, if not player, then return end. And then player dot human or er, character not humanoid dot health. Uh, I think there's a thing called take damage. So I'm gonna take 25 damage. Head into the game, and there's our health bar down there, or wherever you guys decide to put it, or you know, however else you wanted to make it look. We touch on the kill brick. Oh, I think I, yeah, I I, I wasn't for sure if take damage was going to work. Oh, I kind of messed a few things up here, guys. I just um, noticed. But if player is equal, equal to nil, then we are going to do that. But we also need the debounce. So if not debounce, then debounce is equal to true. Um, we're going to get this. And then task.wait. Two seconds, demounts is equal to false. So now if you head into the game and we step on this brick, uh, it's still not working. Okay, hold on, guys. All right, well, you know what? I'm just going to set it because I remember there being a take damage function for the humanoid, um, which, oh, I'm saying health. I should probably take. All right, so I think this last time it would work, but set this back to false, and also I'm, uh, instead of setting health, I'm going to set the humanoid. Sorry about that, guys. So now if you actually do go into the game and step on the brick, it changes our health. See, uh, there's also the health bar up here and the health bar down there, and, and then it re regenerates. So now the next part we're going to get into is if you guys want to turn off this health bar up here so that you just want the health bar down here. Um, because what you can do in Roblox is actually disable the default health bar um, up here and have just your custom one. So if you guys want that, that, that is what I'm going to be moving on to. So now this is where we need our services, which is going to be just one service. Uh, and that's going to be starter GUI. So we need game, get service, starter GUI. And then down here, if you want to disable it, you can say starter GUI set core gui enabled enum dot core gui type dot health comma false so when you head into the game and we have everything disabled for the health and you step over the brick our health bar is no longer up there and it just updates on our health bar down here you know that's just a little extra thing if you just want to disable it and whatnot so there you guys go so now I'm going to move on to one last feature, and the feature I'm going to be showing you guys is that when you go into the game, um, I w if you guys want it to be like Roblox's health bar, so what, what I mean by this is when you first join the game and you have 100 health, um, it the, the health bar is not there, right? You've seen in the last or the, the other time when I had it enabled that it was not there, but it appeared when I took damage so if you want it like that where it doesn't appear um, but when you take damage it does and then when you reach a hundred health it disappears um, that is what I'm going to be going into next so this is actually really simple or you know a really simple thing to do um, what we're going to say here above the tween size line is saying background not visible equals to true we are setting the background and not the bar, because if we just set the bar uh, visible, it, it just gets rid of the bar. So we need to set the background, because the bar is in the background, so if we just set the background, it'll get rid of everything, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're just setting the background to true as well, guys. Uh, you need to turn the visibility off for the health bar so you don't see it at first. We are then going to check the humanoid's health. So if humanoid.health, we're checking the current health of the player. And we're going to check if it's 100. And if it is 100 and you're at 100 health, then we're going to set the visibility back uh, to false so you no longer see it. 
And by the way, guys, to actually make this work so that when you set the background's visibility to true, it'll set everything, is you just need to set the background uh, visibility to false, but set the bar's visibility to true. So head into the game, and we're going to step on the red brick. Uh, we do not see our health bar, but what I'm actually going to do before we test this is I'm just going to set this to like 97 so that it won't take long to regenerate the health back to 100. So go back into the game, and we're going to touch the brick. Oh, uh, <laughs> why, did it, wait, wait, why did it set it to... Wait, hold on. My bad, guys. So this is actually taking 97 health. I am just going to set it to 97 health. My bad, I forgot to change that, but when we head back on the red brick, uh, what is going on? Okay, so I'm like all over the place, um, but I need to say, you know, this is humanoid, and then I need to say health. <laughs> I'm like all over the place with this. But now it should work. Sorry guys for those little inconveniences when I forget to do certain stuff. Um, but when we touch the red brick, it sets our health to 97, and then it goes back to 100, and then when it hits 100, it disappears again. Alright guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video, if you guys did get something from this video, or you guys just enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.